Oh man, in that last video, I was talking about remote work. People were coming for me. They were coming for me. What's the big deal? If you could get it done in two hours. Let me ask you a question. If you were the employer who had to pay that salary, how would you feel if someone you paid for eight hours of work only worked two? Put that in the comments. All right, there's a lot of people who will disagree with me. They're saying that remote work is here to stay. I disagree. And I'm gonna tell you why remote work is going to disappear. And I'm gonna tell you who's gonna kill it. Right now, and it, this was funny. Um, I saw an article, let me see if I can pull it up. Um, scamming the boss. Some employers are outsourcing their jobs to other people. Here are how companies are spotting the fraudsters. This is something that has happened. There are many people who've done this who would literally have a certain type of job and they would go to Upwork and they would outsource their work to someone in one of these third um, third world countries who would do the work let's say these people were making ten thousand dollars a month and they can find someone in another country to do it for fifteen hundred so they're, they, they'll make the ten thousand but they won't work actually there was one guy who had two jobs and he outsourced both of them and he got caught because his boss actually was on vacation and saw him on the beach so this is what people are doing and it's just a matter of time what's going to happen the same thing that happened to manufacturing which were blue collar jobs where they just like hey we can take this job to Korea, we could take this job to Vietnam, we could take this job to Taiwan, and we can, instead of paying an American 15, 20 bucks an hour, we can pay this uh, Vietnamese a buck a day. All right, so this is what's gonna happen. Right now, you're gonna have a bunch of folks who are going to outsource their job, they're gonna have someone else doing their job, and what these corporations are gonna soon realize is they outsource this job and the person in this other country did a really good job. Hmm. So what you're gonna have in the next 10 years is a bunch of white collar jobs go offshore. Instead of hiring an American from jump, because once again, Here's the thing with corporate America. Corporate America is very, very malleable. Corporate America is like, hey, what makes the most sense? What makes the most money? That's what we gonna do. Corporate America has no allegiance to any particular way of making money. If they can go out and get the job done, get the product or service sold to the end user, the customer, what is the cheapest, most efficient way to do that? That's what corporate America is going to do. So all of these people who fail, they're so smart. They, yeah, I outsource. So just remember that. Now I'm getting ready to do something. I'm getting ready to start a professional trading company to do day trading, to do options trading. And everyone who signs up for the intellectual property school that signs up for, um, the program, anything right now, you're gonna get this training for free. I have a feeling that this could be a very expensive course in the future. Uh, it's gonna take me some time because I gotta get set up. Because right now, due to the guidelines by the Internal Revenue Service, I don't have enough time, because there's only four months left in the year, for me to get this set up. I don't have enough time to satisfy the requirements because I'm starting a new, well, I already had the trading company set up. I actually created that trading company in 2020, but now I'm activating it 
And one of the things that I've done this week is I signed up for two brokerage accounts. I'm gonna tell you, if you want to set up a professional trading company in the name of an LLC, you cannot sign up for these brokerage accounts online. You can't do it. You gotta go online, print up a form, fill it out and mail it in with a check. So once again, everyone who gets into the intellectual property school, everyone that gets into the program, you're gonna get this training for free and I'm probably gonna start with some of the training because it's a lot. And I'm gonna teach you how to set up a professional trading company. And once again, just, just my thoughts. For some reason, today when I was filling out the paperwork for the Schwab account, some just says, you're gonna be really good at this. Just a feeling that I have. And I'm gonna teach you all of the stuff that I know as I build this and set it up. So what you wanna do is sign up for the Intellectual Property School. What you wanna do is sign up for the program, whatever thing that you can sign up for. Once again, this will be only for courses at B School for Hustlers. This will not be for anything at Hustlers Kung Fu. And this will not include the masculine frame. This will only include the business courses. So just to be sure about that, just to you know, let you guys know where I'm going. So go below, first comment below, sign up today for the intellectual property school, the program or something, because uh, next year I'm gonna be doing a lot of training on trading. Because one of, the, one of the things is, I'm not going to learn how to trade from someone on YouTube. I'm actually going to find a company that does this professionally and pay them to teach me. That's what I'm going to do. So that's the kind of training you're going to get. So once again, go below, sign up for the intellectual property school, sign up for the program. And once again, the trading starts January of 2023. Because like I said, I don't have enough time to satisfy the requirements because one of the requirements is to do 720 trades, really 750. I don't, I mean, I would literally have to do 200 trades a month between now and December. And I still would not satisfy the requirement of trading 75% of the time that the market is open. There's no way that I can satisfy that requirement. So that's why I'm gonna start in January and I'm gonna get all my equipment and stuff in January because when I create a professional trading company, like when I hire these people to teach me how to trade, guess what, that's a tax deduction. So I can go out and spend a lot of money getting my computer set up and all this other stuff and it's 100% tax deductible because I'm creating a professional trading company. Links are below. First comment or in the description. Go ahead and get in that. Where's my job and I'm getting paid and I'm not working? Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time before remote work disappears in America because what's happening? These people in these other countries, they're getting better educated. Their internet is working better. So any job that can be done remotely by a remote American can be done remotely by someone in the Philippines, someone in Vietnam, someone in Sri Lanka, someone in Africa. Once again, these third world countries are starting to emerge. The universities are getting better and they're training these people. So it's just, I give it 10 years. And the same thing that happened to manufacturing is gonna happen to a lot of white collar jobs. India. Right now, Google has a campus in India. You think this, this is just the beginning. Google, Google's India campus. Once again, if you've noticed, there's a lot of Indians in IT, tons and tons of Indians in IT, right? Once again, be sure to Google the Google campus in India. Google is already working on this, already. So what's gonna happen is, it's gonna be really hard for you to find a certain job in America in the next 10 years because they're gonna be outsourced. And like all of these folks who are clowning and playing around and like the girl I know, um, she works, she gets up, she has her day. She has her day wrapped around how she wants to do her day, which, you know, it's understandable, but I guarantee you, she doesn't work eight hours a day. And that's one of the things that's gonna keep popping up, gonna keep popping up, because once again, these people are training corporate America. So as those 
as these go, because this, this is funny how certain things get started. Like, you know, this is completely different, but it's just to show you how something can start in one place and it can spread to other places. Do you know swinging was started in the Air Force during World War II? Yes, swinging. That's where it got started, in the Air Force. Air Force officers used to make deals and agreements with their fellow airmen for their wives. That's how wife swap. And this is something that started in the Air Force. Now, it started because every time someone in the Air Force flew a plane in a mission, there was a good chance they weren't coming back. So it was kind of rooted in practicality. So this guy would go up in the plane and he may not come back, but he knew his wife would be taken care of. Now, it completely jumped past that to whatever. And once again, I guarantee you, all of these folks who are outsourcing their jobs, playing these games, it's only a matter of time before corporate America wakes up. It's just a matter of time. So all of you who's like, yeah, remote work's here to stay. Clock's ticking. It's just a matter of time. Because any job that can be farmed out to a third world country and be done adequate, well, let's just say, let's say if they can farm it out and the person in the third world does a job is 70% as good as an American, that job's gone. They will deal with it. 70%? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So this is what's gonna happen to the future of remote work in America. And also, here's the thing. Remote workers only make up 10% of the workforce currently. And there's 10% uh, are fully remote. And 35% have a hybrid where they go in the office and they get to work a few days from home. And I'm really studying, they don't feel that that's gonna change. Because here's the thing, can you do Uber for, as a remote job? Nope. Can you do customer service and target in the checkout line as a remote job? So there, there's a lot of jobs that will never, ever, ever be remote. They can't be. There's no way for them, these jobs, to be remote. So these jobs are never gonna be remote. But everyone, that's that's going to be the workplace fantasy to get a job, to work from home, to because this is what people are going to do. People are going to design this job, this situation around their personal comfort. This is one of the things. And like me, I get to do that, but I own the company. But here's another thing with me. I know that if I don't produce, uh, if I don't produce, I don't make no money. Let me say this again. I don't have a situation where I have a corporate job that I get paid regardless. If I don't produce, if I don't sell anything, I don't make any money. And my life has been like that since business environments when I had a 100% commission salesman job. And once again, when you tell someone, all right, we got a job for you, but it's 100% commission, they're immediately going to be very disinterested interested because you have to work. See, I would say the best job to prepare you for entrepreneurship is a 100% commission sales job. It's the same thing. If you do not kill anything, you don't eat anything. It's the same thing. So what we're going to see in the next 10 years is a big shipment of currently, of American jobs offshore. We're gonna see these jobs go to Spain. We're gonna see these jobs go to Portugal. We're gonna see these jobs go to um, the Philippines, we're gonna see these jobs go to Vietnam, we're gonna see these jobs go to Korea. That's what's gonna be happening. So all of you folks who are like, yeah, I wanna work remote. 
and then you get the job and you act like a yard bird, you don't work a full eight hours, you go ahead and you set it up where you're very comfortable, like this chick. I know for a fact that she gets up early and I know for a fact that if I call her between 12 and two o'clock, there's a really good chance she won't answer because she sleep. And then she gets up, works an hour, and then she goes to gym. Now, there will be an elite group of employees that will be able to pull that off perpetually. These will be people who have very special skill sets. I was watching this show on um, Netflix and it was a weird show. It was about this umbrella corporation. And there was a guy in there and his daughter got into a fight with another kid at school. And the guy said, you know what? I'm gonna call umbrella and I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna quit my job. And it's like, you wonder what's gonna happen to you. He's like, you know how many people could do my job? He says, one, I'm the only one that can do my job. I wonder what's gonna happen if I tell them I'm gonna quit to your job. How many people can do your job? 20, 30,000? So, once again, there will be a, a certain a certain group of people who will be able to pull that off because they're going to be extremely valuable and they're going to be extremely talented. There will be a group of people, but for the average person, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. So, like I said, next 10 years, you're going to see a massive and mark, mark, mark my words mark this video and come back in two years you're going to see it talked about in the news you're going to see people uh have issues there's like all our good jobs are being shipped offshore these corporations aren't loyal once again these corporations already have corporate entities in the bahamas europe ireland to take advantage of the tax laws so let me just have a conversation from me to you. Let's say we we're in the shop and we were talking. You and I, we were going to go partners in on a business. And we had the option of hiring Americans at $70,000. Or we had the option of hiring people in Vietnam for $1,500. And we go ahead and we test it out. And we find out that the work that we get from the Vietnamese is comparable to the work we get from the Americans. What do you think we're gonna do? What do you think we're gonna do? Or more importantly, if you were in that situation, if you were in a situation where you were starting a company and you had an option of hiring an employee for 70,000, or you had an option of hiring an employee for 1,500, and you can get the same level of work, what are you gonna do? And this is one of the things, because it's already happening. It's already been happening. It just hasn't caught fire. And all of these little smarty smart people like, I'm gonna outsource my job. I'm not gonna work. I'm gonna be at the beach. I'm gonna be playing around. These corporations, once they see a new tactic, and if the tactic is something that could put more money in the corporation's pocket, they're gonna do this tactic. I mean, every every few days I read about someone who's outsourced their job to the, you know, uh, India or Pakistan, because there's a ton of programmers in uh, India. Like my video editing company is in Turkey. Turkey. Uh, my video editing is like two thousand dollars per month. They're able to find someone. Once again, they're going to go to these lower cost economies and they're going to hire people to do video editing, to do computer programming, all of these remote jobs. It's just a matter of time before it's going to be really because what's happening is the education systems in these other countries are getting better and better and better And many countries are ahead of us in math and science from an education perspective. And what are these remote jobs? They're computer programmers, they're uh, illustrators, they're, they're tech jobs. These tech jobs, these tech jobs are about to say, see you later, next 10 years. So all of you folks who got these nice jobs and 
you enjoying your remote work, enjoy yourselves. It's not gonna last forever. It's just a matter of time before that remote job disappears. Now, the jobs where you have to be present, where you have to do some stuff, where like I have a friend, she makes $300,000 a year. She has a job, she works seven days a week. There's no way that she could um, do remote work. What she does is very hands-on. That's not going to disappear and those kind of jobs are not going to go offshore because she deals with banking and banking regulation, which is very intensive. It's a very, it's a very stressful job, very stressful job. So that's not going to disappear. But how many of you have the experience to get that kind of job? See, there's only like 10% of the country that makes six figures, right? And six figures. 100k we move it to 250 we get to like five percent of the country at 250 we go to 500,000 we go to two percent two percent of the country makes 500,000 or more per year two percent so once again there's not a lot of room up there at those 200 300 400 there, there, there's there's jobs there's jobs available but there's not a lot of people who are qualified for these jobs. So once again, if you're doing low level remote work, it's just a matter of time before that job is shoot, shipped offshore. It's just a matter of time. And like you folks in the come is you're so adorable. Remote work's never gonna disappear. I'm like, oh really? It is, just wait. If so, if you're doing low level remote work, you might have five or seven years before that job's gone. Five or seven years. Because Pepe, you over here complaining because you got to work 40 hours a week, you got to drive to the office. Pepe, 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 get 1500 in the country where if you make 300 bucks a month, you balling? 1500? Pepe gonna have a cook a maid, private chef, a tutor for his kids at that 1500. Pepe? I was watching this video, that this guy was like, 1500 a month, you can ball in the Philippines. 1500 a month. So you go ahead and you give these people in these low cost economies a serious raise, they're not gonna be just happy, they're gonna be internally grateful internally grateful they're not going to complain they're not going to sit they're not going to strike they're going to be like give me this money they're going to be very very happy so that's what's going to happen to remote work in america in the next 10 years so like i said enjoy it while it lasts because it's not going to be forever and ever just like manufacturing disappeared in america you're going to see remote work disappear and like unless you're in the tech industry where you own the company yeah you own the company you might keep some jobs here but once again like i said i gave you that 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 example if you and your friend were at the coffee shop talking about your job and you can get the same this job done here in america for seventy thousand, or you can get it done in vietnam for 1500 per month and get the same quality level quality of work what you gonna do Put that in the comments. What you gonna do? So, yeah, all of you folks who like, who are thinking like employees, like how can I get the most for the least? Keep thinking like that. Keep thinking like that. And it's just a matter of time. Right now, there is a woman in California who used to have a really good life. <clears throat> and I'm about to go somewhere with this. She was married and she had a good job and she had a house. And this woman, she's on YouTube and she was talking about, she says, I should have been a better wife. You know, she said there was times my husband wanted to have sex. I didn't want to have sex. So he got rid of her. Then he got rid of her. And then, you know, she said, I didn't do the best job I could at my job. And the job got rid of her. Now she's living in a van. And this happened in the last five minutes, five years to this woman. She went from being married to living in the house to now she's living in the van in five years 
because she did not want to do what that man, her ex-husband wanted her to do. And she did not want to do what her employer wanted her to do. And look at where she, and a lot, all right, I'm not, you know, I don't want, I don't want you to be living in a van. I don't want you to be homeless. I get no joy out of someone tumbling down the ranks of society. I, I get no joy. What I'm trying to illustrate, what I'm trying to tell you is, this is happening right now. And you can keep playing around, you can keep messing around, you can keep thinking that you're irreplaceable in five years, this could be your life. Keep messing around, just keep messing around. Just keep messing around. I'm, I'm here to tell you, like I said, I take no joy from people struggling. I take no joy from people falling off. I take no joy, none whatsoever. But once again, I am here to tell you, to give you an educated perspective of what's coming. This is not, maybe this is gonna happen. Cause see right now it's already happening. It's just gonna pick up speed. It's just gonna be more pervasive. It's gonna be more pronounced. And you're gonna start, in five years, you're gonna know someone that lost their job because their job disappeared. You think automation, <clears throat> and automation, that's another thing that's gonna kill jobs. Automation, so while you're out here trying to secure the bag, cause like, you know, that's why I use that thumbnail, because that's what people feel that they're so smart. And all of these folks who are like going out and finding, going to Upwork and finding people who can do their jobs much cheaper, they're pricing themselves out of the market. That's what they're doing. They're pricing themselves out of the market. And it's just a matter of time. So if you got a nice cushy six figure job, you need to save as much money as you can while you getting it. Because I'm, I'm here to say, it. it's not going to continue. You're not going to keep like, like my friend who, who has this, she makes $300,000 a year. She works. There is no way that she can like disappear or take a two hour lunch break and no one comes looking for her. There ain't no way that ain't happening. So these people who are making these $200,000, $300,000 a year, I guarantee you, they only make up. Five, or five to two percent of the country. So it ain't that many of them. It ain't that many of them. And I guarantee you the folks who are making that kind of bread, who are not older, because you've got people in certain co companies that have seniority and they've been in the company 25, 30 years, they can flex a little bit because you know they've given the country, the company so much of their time and life force. But this is what's coming, man. So mark my words, come back to this video 10 years from the day and you will see that everything I told you has happened. Cause see, it's already happening. It's already happening. It just hasn't picked up. And the fact that I'm just sitting here like the mindset of a person who would go to an Upwork or one of these job boards and find someone to do their job for cheaper they're really not thinking because you have just illustrated that you, you can go out and find someone to replace you for cheaper. You just prove that to your company. And it's only a matter of time before these companies go, mm. hey, this, this is gonna be the conversation. You know, John, in uh in logistics yeah john john found someone in sri lanka to do his job what yeah we he got fired but what we're we're gonna do is um we we're able to check john's uh computer logs because see these corporations are watching you you're unaware of it but they're watching you and we we were able to connect with this person and we hired him on full time and he's doing a better job than John at one tenth the cost. So what we're getting ready to do is hire some more people over there and just replace that whole department. Oh really, word, okay. What about us? 
it's like, you know, we're management, so um, they can't really, you know, there needs to be someone over here to interface with the higher ups. So we're kind of good, but pretty much 90% of the company is fucked because they will be outsourced and replaced. We're in, a, this is what we're going to be doing for the next two years. All right. From a dollar's cost, the bottom line perspective, it makes a ton of sense. If we can get the same level of work done for one tenth the cost, hey, it's a win. How big is your bonus going to be? She's like, you make $50,000 in bonus money because I'm saving, I'm bringing in so much cost reductions. So these managers, they ain't going to have your back. <laughs> these managers, they're not going to have your back because if they can go ahead, I want you to think about it. If you have a department, right? And let's say you have a department of um, 30 people. And these 30 people make 70. I, I'm, I'm about to give you a real business lesson. So 70,000 times 30. That's $2.1 million. And if you can replace those 30 people who people you're paying 10,000, 10,000 times 30, that's 300,000. So you just saved the company $1.8 million. $1.8 million. And what they're gonna do like, hey, we're gonna give her a $70,000 bonus and the company is still to the good, $1.7 million. See, once again, guys, th this is coming hard, heavy, and fast. And like, you know, while you're securing this bag, finding all of these ways not to work, you're screwing yourself. Remember how I told you that when I was working in labor ready in the labor pool and labor force, and they would send me on these crummy, crappy jobs, and I would always do the best job I could. That's why I'm in the position I'm in today, because I kept my work ethic. And for the people who keep their work ethic, even though their jobs may disappear, they will find some place to go. But for you folks who are so smart, who are like, I'm trying to work smarter, not hard. Remember this woman, she wanna have sex with her husband. And now she lives in the van. Remember that. Remember that. All right. So just remember that. Now I'm getting ready to do something. I'm getting ready to start a professional trading company to do day trading, to do options trading. And everyone who signs up for the intellectual property school that signs up for, um, the program, anything right now, you're gonna get this training for free. I have a feeling that this could be a very expensive course in the future. Uh, it's gonna take me some time because I gotta get set up. Because right now, due to the guidelines by the Internal Revenue Service, I don't have enough time, because there's only four months left in the year, for me to get this set up. I don't have enough time to satisfy the requirements because I'm starting a new, well, I already had the trading company set up. I actually created that trading company in 2020, but now I'm activating it. And one of the things that I've done this week is I signed up for two brokerage accounts. I'm gonna tell you, if you want to set up a professional trading company in the name of an LLC, you cannot sign up for these brokerage accounts online. You can't do it. You gotta go online, print up a form, fill it out and mail it in with a check. So once again, everyone who gets into the intellectual property school, everyone that gets into the program, you're gonna get this training for free. And I'm probably gonna start with some of the training because it's a lot. And I'm gonna teach you how to set up a professional trading company. And once again, just, just my thoughts. For some reason, today when I was filling out the paperwork for the Schwab account, some just says, you're gonna be really good at this. Just a feeling that I have, and I'm gonna teach you all of the stuff that I know as I build this and set it up. So what you wanna do is sign up for the Intellectual Property School. 
what you want to do is sign up for the program whatever thing that you can sign up for once again this will be only for courses at b school for hustlers this will not be for anything at hustlers kung fu and this will not include the masculine frame this will only include the business courses so just to be sure about that just to you know let you guys know where i'm going so go below first comment below sign up today for the intellectual property school the program or something because uh, next year i'm going to be doing a lot of training on trading because one of the, one of the things is i'm not going to learn how to trade from someone on youtube i'm actually going to find a company that does this professionally and pay them to teach me that's what i'm going to do so that's the kind of training you're going to get so once again go below sign up for the intellectual property school sign up for the program and once again the trading starts january of 2023 because like i said i don't have enough time to satisfy the requirements because one of the requirements is to do 720 trades really 750 i don't i mean i would literally have to do 200 trades a month between now and december and I still would not satisfy the requirement of trading 75% of the time that the market is open. There's no way that I can satisfy that requirement. So that's why I'm gonna start in January and I'm gonna get all my equipment and stuff in January because when I create a professional trading company, like when I hire these people to teach me how to trade, guess what, that's a tax deduction. So I could go out and spend a lot of money getting my computer set up and all this other stuff and it's 100% tax deductible because I'm creating a professional trading company. Links are below. First comment or in the description. Go ahead and get in that.